वेलकम टू एस एफ डी मॉडिटर तो टूडे वी लर्न हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल वी एस कोड एंड एस एफ डी एस सी लाइन इन आवर लैपटॉप और सिस्टम ओके सो लेट्स टेल मी अबाउट माई सेल्फ माई नेम इज आशीष मोदकर आई हैव टोटल सेल्स फोर्स सर्टिफिकेशन and one is the salesforce kapodo sir uh, fundamental one so you can connect me also on linkedin ashish madhukar and twitter also ashish madhukar and uh, this is my youtube channel jsfdx madhukar so jsfdc uh, madhukar so you can uh, subscribe our channel for future video and also you, you can watch our uh, previous video also okay so what is the uh, vs code basically so vs code basically the name of full form uh, visual studio code also commonly referred to the vs code right so it is a salesforce editor mode by microsoft with the electronic framework uh, for windows linux and uh, um, mac also so feature including support of the debugging syntax highlighting intelligence code compression snippet code refactoring and embedded git also okay user can change the theme keyword shortcut extensions install the extension other thing all type of functionality you can do in the basically vs code okay so uh, basically vs code uh, now we are installing for our uh, programming of our salesforce like uh, uh, lwc so we, our training for uh, lwc so basically we are focusing on the lwc okay so after that the what is the sfdx or sf cli so a uh, previous name is the sfdx and uh, now salesforce uh, given the new uh, name is sf cli okay so in future sfdx uh, will deprecate it so the salesforce cli command help the scratch or while also supporting the statement for the management and uh, creation of of the org the sfdx perform uh, help in the controlling the process of importing and exporting data it also help by the supporting the system of execution of installation and testing of the package basically okay so the salesforce cli is mostly associated with the salesforce developer experience or sfdx hence it is the often referred to the salesforce cli while dealing with the sfdx command users come okay across the various situation where they need to include the reference so basically salesforce uh, sfdx cli is the you know in uh, uh, command prompt uh, basically so where the integration with the salesforce and uh, your vs code okay so so what are the steps we need to be do in the uh, uh, installation process so there are total seven steps so in this video we will do only four step first one we need uh, vs code installation sfdx cli and uh, extension pack and how we can run the command our yes sfdx cli okay so let's go our org and install the yes uh, vs code and sfdx cli okay so in google chrome just type vs code here okay click here is the download button just click on the download okay and here the three versions showing the vs windows linux and mac so this is our you know um, windows so just install click on the windows and install the vs code okay so when you uh, download the vs code okay so just install click uh, double click on this icon and uh, then uh, select this one accept all the agreement and this next then this is your uh, you know um, location where the uh, vs code is installed next so if you don't want to create the start menu folder so just next and you want to create your desktop icon so just check box it and that's next okay just click on the storage so uh, for vs code is not taking much time for installation okay it's within a one week uh, one uh, sorry within a one minute it, it will be installed okay so but uh, yes sfdx cli is some take time for installation and other process so 
let's install now yes a bs cli okay so just finish here yeah. and then it will be open by default okay so then after that we will do all the our so this is already install something showing because i have created some components so that's why okay just close this one and now just go again vs code and install your Yes, a BS CLI. Yes, a BS CLI. Okay. Press enter. Click on SBS CLI and this is your no window. Click on Windows for 86. 86 means 32 bit. So this is my uh, pro, uh, operating system is 32 bit. That's, that's why I'm installing the 32 bit. If your uh, window is, is you know uh, 64 bit, so you can install. Just click on the SFDS CLI. Okay. So when it uh, will do some, you know, uh, protecting, so that's why it's showing. But, but click on the more view here. Okay. Just click run any way. Okay. Just click on yes. Then next. So, okay. When you click here, so it will be uh, install this in location. Okay. Then install now. So it will take some time, okay, uh, two or three minutes. So till now I'm uh, stopping my video, then we will continue. So guys, uh, now our yes, CLI installed successfully. Okay, just close. And how you can check your uh, uh, CLI installed successfully and it's working fine or not. So just go here and type CMD, okay. Open your CMD. CMD means command prompt. Okay. So let's use uh, previous command. Okay. Yes. Of DX version. Okay. So yes, uh, uh, you know, old basically, but it will be now it will be work, but in future it will be deprecated. Okay. So when you keep type here, yes, of DX version. Then it will be so your uh, CLI version, uh, which version you are using and which version is installed now. Okay. So let's check uh, when it's come. Then then we understand. Okay, when it's showing the uh, version, it means our CLI installed successfully and path automatic uh, set uh, in the Windows environment. Okay. So now it's taking some time okay because first time when you install so it's taking some time okay because you are it's you know uh configuring in a background so that's why it's taking some time okay okay so now here you can see this is a bscli 2.1.7 version now it's going okay it means your install successfully now let's go in the vs code and here just click on the extension now just check yes sub salesforce this one extension pack okay so now here is already showing the install okay let me uninstall and then okay now just click on the install list so when you're installing these are uh, so make sure when you install in the Salesforce extension pack, so install the expanded uh, version, okay? Because in this uh, package, it's something more, uh, okay, approx 13. If you check here on the top of this one is the old one, okay? So you have only nine, uh, right? So you have pretty year code. These are the some extra example. So just install the expanded one, okay? When you install this, just Close uh, after that you close your uh, VS code, okay? Because now everything you have installed. So then again open your VS code here and check your SFDS CLI command is working in in or we are not means in your VS code basically. So how you can check your uh, VS code? So here on the top of if you check here is showing the terminal. Click on the terminal, new terminal. Okay, so your terminal will be open here. Okay, so what you should do, just type here yes, sir, BX 
same command what you have typed in the uh, command prompt. Okay, just a dx version. So when you uh, install your uh, code and SBS CLI both, and uh, if you check here, now it's well showing the version. It means your VS code and CLI installed successfully and integrated with the also this VS code. So if you check with the YSUB command, so it will be also work, okay? Because now it's a new keyword. Okay, it's meaning wrong. Let me, this showing, when you give the name and the name, okay, it will be also asking for this is this. So I'm typing yes. Why? Okay. It's working, okay? So in this video, uh, that's all. Next video, we will meet and create our first project and first LWC company, okay? So thank you. Thanks for watching. And let's meet another video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.